On May 9th, President Shavkat Mirziyoyev was in the framework of his working visit to Moscow to co part in Solomon celebrations on occasion of the 79th anniversary of the victory in World War II. Details in the report. A victory parade was held on the Red Square. It was also attended by President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko, President of Kazakhstan Kasim Jumar Tokayev, President of Kyrgyzstan Sadr Japarov, President of Tajikistan Imam Ali Rahman, President of Turkmenistan Sirdar Birdu Muhammadov, President of Guinea Bissau Mauri Sissoko Mbalo, President of Laos Tonglin Susulit, and President of Cuba Miguel Diaz Canal. Numerous historical data and facts confirm the significant contribution of the people of Uzbekistan to the great victory. From the first day of the terrible war, people of Uzbekistan bravely joined the struggle against fascism. At that time, the population of the republic was 6.5 million, of whom about 2 million were sent to the front. More than 538,000 brave sons and daughters of Uzbekistan died in the struggle for peaceful and free life, and more than 158,000 were missing in action. More than 240,000 Uzbek soldiers and officers were awarded combat orders and medals. In particular, 301 of Uzbeks received the title of Hero of the Soviet Union, and 70 were awarded the Order of the glory of all three levels. During the World War II, many talented generals and commanders grew up among Uzbek officers. After the victory parade, President Shavkat Mirziyoyev, together with Russian President Vladimir Putin and other heads of state, light a flower on the tomb of the unknown soldier in Alexander Garden. The memorial is symbol of heroism and feat of sacrifice of our ancestors. Millions of soldiers of various nationalities, including sons of Uzbekistan who bravely fought and fell for the motherland in World War II. The presidents honored the memory of the fallen soldiers with a minute of silence. The ceremony ended with Solomon Guard of Honor and Orchestra March. The working visit to Russia came to an end here. The president of Uzbekistan was conveyed at the airport by acting deputy prime minister and minister of industry and trade of Russian Federation, Denis Manturev, and other officials. The head of state left for Tashkent.